internet. It is Wednesday the 24th of April 2019. I am down here in the beautiful, beautiful Cabbage Tree Beach. Look how beautiful this is. Look at this. What a stunning place to do a snorkel mask review. Now there is a slight difference to how I would usually do a snorkel mask review right here on Gives A Minute. I've already reviewed both of these products. So what I wanna do instead, I wanna compare the two against each other. Now this will make sense why in a second, but let me show you what the products are first. First up is the K2 from HJKB. Now if you've seen my review of this, you'll know how unique this mask is. If you haven't seen that review, check out up there. You will notice that this has been used. You can see some scuff marks on the inside there. This has been used by myself. Secondly, we have the Power Breather Adventure Edition from Armio. Now this technically is not a mask, but the Beach Edition does ship with a Cressy snorkel mask, which you've seen my review. If you haven't, whoop, 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 up top there, that's where you'll see that review. The Adventure Edition does not ship with that mask, but I have one here because of my review previously. That's what the Cressy mask looks like. The Armio Power Breather, and not just the Adventure Edition, all of the editions proclaim 100% fresh air intake. Now the HJKB K2 also proclaims fresh air intake. They don't actually say 100%. One of the big features of the HJKB in all of their promo and press material is that they understand how important it is to separate the carbon dioxide you breathe out versus the air you breathe in. They've made a mechanical air piece. This is a mechanical one-way air valve. That's their selling point, a mechanical one-way air valve that separates that carbon dioxide. If you look at the Armio Power Breather, the Adventure Edition, of course this is the same across all Armio Power Breathers, they've also got a completely separated air separation carbon dioxide filter system. Something entirely different to this I mean, I'm not a scientist, but I can already see an issue with, with this design. I don't want to slam the design because the concept is great, but if you think about it very, very quickly, it's so simple to spot. This thing goes over your face. And by the way, forget my beard right now. Any snorkel mask review I would do, I would shave off my beard. You know that. Locra, if you're watching, you know that. We're not actually reviewing the snorkel masks in that sense today. We're reviewing the fresh air intake, so that's irrelevant to my beard. So go easy on the beard. I would not normally have one. Look at this concept again. What can you see in there? You can see a section that goes around your chin and over your nose. That section is a separated breathing chamber separate to your eye section. You can see this here. Your eye section is separate and your breathing section and your breathing section is separate too by the very design of this. Now that does lead to one massive massive flaw in this concept of fresh air. You breathe in through your nose and you breathe out through your mouth, or you may do it differently. You may breathe in through your mouth and breathe out through your nose. That's happening in the exact same chamber space. So you're never getting fresh air, fresh air intake, because you're breathing it in. Fair call, it's coming in through these tubes and it's coming into this chamber. It's coming in through these tubes and it's coming into that chamber there but then the second you breathe that out, you're then having carbon dioxide right where you breathe back in. In a sense, you're hyperventilating, if you like, depending on how you breathe. So by its very nature, by its very design, you can never get a fresh air intake. I understand it's a mechanical one-way valve, and that one-way valve takes the carbon dioxide away from your mouth and pushes it out through the front here, two separate areas that that happens at, but the fact is, if that is enclosed in the same space where you breathe in, you can never have a full 100% fresh air intake. Now, conversely, compare that to the Armio Power Breather. By its very nature, you have a smaller, look at the size of this air filtration system. It is tiny. You have this in your mouth, so straight away you already eliminate half of the problem because your nose is not connected to your mouth area, it's a separate space. And then when you are breathing, sure, you could breathe back in the expelled carbon dioxide out of your mouth like I just demonstrated by going You could definitely do that. 
The fact is, this small space in here, it's almost so tiny that the amount of oxygen and the amount of carbon dioxide that you would mix together is completely minimal, therefore rendering it 100% fresh air compared to potentially fresh air, not 100%. Again, look, I'm not here to rat on any design concepts. I'm not here to put any manufacturers down. I'm just here to illustrate simple design concept, differing approach to air separation, and logically you can conclude what would work best for you. Now, of course, we have the Jarvis Bay area right here, and the water it's still beautiful. It's autumn in Australia. That water is sensational. I am gonna get in there and I'm gonna compare just to show you what I think. I mean, your opinion and your experience may differ. I'm not suggesting this is the be all and end all, but if you look at physicalities, you look at physical size, you look at separation, you look at the chamber, I think you'll see is a logical conclusion to be made there. Now I will always have a link in the description for where you can purchase a power breather. That's an affiliate link for me. I'll get a little kickback if you do want to purchase. Unfortunately, the HJKB, I still haven't got any kind of definitive answer as to where you can purchase this, if you can purchase it. Now, I am getting in that water. It is too warm, I'm sweating here. Before we decide which snorkel mask concept you want to go with, you have to ask yourself, what is my use case scenario? If you have a use case which is gonna see you out in the water for an extended period of time, you want as least amount of carbon dioxide rebreathing, hyperventilating as possible. So that would dictate the power breather. If you were to be uh, fitness swimming, sure, you could get away with maybe 25, maybe 30 minutes tops, but if you're gonna push past that in fitness and maybe do an hour's worth of swimming, Realistically, you want as least carbon dioxide coming back into your system as possible, and that is gonna be the power breather. So the point I'm making right now is your use case will dictate which design, which concept works best for you. For the sake of this illustration and this little snorkel area here, it won't make any difference. So with all that said, I'm gonna go the HJKB because it's the last review I did and it will flow through nicely, and then we will go the Armio Power Breather Adventure Edition. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay, so my experience with the HJKB doesn't differ from last time, really. Uh, you can see, uh, well, we're not here to discuss the fogging, and I did mention the beard, and the beard's not the most ideal, so we can't really comment on that. As far as carbon dioxide buildup, there's no real way for me to test that, except to say how I feel, right? And I just snorkeled then for about... Actually, I can't tell because it deducts it from the total. Let's just call it, let's say it was 15 minutes. Maybe it was less, maybe it was slightly longer. I don't feel out of breath. I feel fine. I'm a competent snorkeler. You might be a little different. Your experiences may be less. It might be the first time you snorkel. What I'm saying is I don't feel that, I don't feel like I hyperventilated at all. I feel fine. I feel good. The K2 from HJKB. If you can find one out there to purchase, good luck and enjoy. Let's go now to the Amio Power Breather Adventure Edition. Now this is brand new out of the box. You simply put it over your head like that. Take the Cressy goggles, which these come not with the Adventure Edition, they come with the Beach Edition. Let's just be clear about that. You put your goggles on. This is the, be the beauty of this. You could use whatever goggles you want. If you've already got goggles, 
Bingo. Uh, people don't call them goggles. People like to call them masks. I will say goggles and I will say masks. So if you've got your own mask goggles, then use those mask goggles. If not, you want to purchase the Beach Edition from Armio, and that will give you a beautiful pair of Cressy goggle masks like these. So then you do this. And you see they take a lot out, and you're good to go. Now there is a recommendation from Armio and from myself. If you are very new to snorkeling, and in particular, if you're very new, let's pull this off so I can talk normally. If you're new to snorkeling and you're new to the Armio product, I'd 100% recommend sitting in a position like this, half in and out of the water, you're comfortable in the temperature of the water, you're comfortable with the waves and whatnot. Take the power breather, put it in your mouth, You want to do that as deep and as long as you can. Around about four minutes usually covers it. There is a membrane in here and it's going to feel a little awkward and a little unusual the first time that you use it. So it's best to do it when you're not in the water, you're comfortable on the land or on the shore like I am. Breathe in, breathe out, and just get really comfortable before you go in the water. Now I've done that obviously plenty of times, but I want to just really hammer that home to you right now. All right. Now these are fogged up because they have been on my head. I've been told to use the spit method. <laughs> That's a lot of spit. That's what I've been told to do. There's so many methods to anti-fog, isn't there? And then I've been told, rinse, shake it, shake it, shake it. Goggle mask is on. Power breather goes up into your mouth. Then it goes over your ears and you just tighten one, two. Let's go snorkeling. Excuse me. Oh, I love snorkeling. So cool to be out there with the fish and the Armio Power Breather. As you can see, this thing is amazing. I cannot speak highly enough of this. This was not part of the test today, but the fact that you can equalize, it just makes the experience so much better. I can go under the water without equalizing and I can deal with the pain to a certain depth. But the moment you put on a regular goggle mask, and you can grab it to equalize, you just, it's like everything's easier when you're comfortable, right? Everything is more enjoyable when you're comfortable. What can I possibly say as a result of this test? Not a lot really, let's be fair. Your use case will dictate which mask you buy and which is more suitable for what you wanna do. I guess what I really wanted to showcase today was one concept versus another concept. Each has their own merits, each has their own design accolades and awards. One will work better for one person, one will work better for the other. But if you're looking at 100% fresh air intake, for me, you can't go past this, the Armio. You cannot. HJKB should get a massive, massive congratulations on a secondary design concept. But for my money, the Armio Power Breather wins. While I was out here doing this test, just over yonder, about five and a half meters under the surface, there was a rock enclave. And underneath that ledge, I saw a tube. It almost looked like a man-made tube. Someone had put it there. So I'm gonna put the Power Breather Adventure Edition back on and go over there and find out exactly what that is. Oh, that's um, we're out of time. I know, 
I keep running out of time on my own channel. You think I'd get that checked out by now, right? Hey, look, if you like what you've seen here on the channel and you want to contribute financially, there's plenty of ways to do that in the description field of this video. And if you haven't done this already and you want to make sure you don't miss any of my future uploads, hit the subscribe button here. You can also check out my previous vlog here or a random vlog there. And you can become a patron of mine here. What's that? No, 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 I'm busy with my end slate. I'm busy with my end slate. I'll be with you in a few seconds. A few more seconds. A few more seconds is all I require. All right, I'm coming now.